welcome to To See or Not To See, and today we're going to be talking about Proud Mary. So before we start the review, I just want to talk about my location change. I have recently moved to San Francisco and to attend San Francisco State University, so I moved out of my parents' basement and got my life together, kind of, sort of, not really, no, I'm never going to get my life together, what am I kidding? But you guys don't want to hear that, you want to hear about Proud Mary, so I'm going to start making YouTube videos again and reviewing movies, so let's see how this goes. I know I've been away for a long time, so let's get started. So Proud Mary stars Tahari P. Henson, I think that's how you pronounce her name, as Mary, as well as Jadi Alo Winston. I've never heard of this kid before, but he plays a character named Danny. Uh -huh. Also, Billy Brown is in the movie, as well as Danny Glover, and I'm actually a big Danny Glover fan, mainly because of Predator 2. I know it's not a good movie, but I like Danny Glover in it. So for the bad things in this movie, this movie was marketed as an action movie, but for the action that we get, it's not very good and there's not very much of it. And with movies like John Wick out and things like that, like, I just feel like action should be held up to a little bit of a higher standard. I feel like we're finally getting away from that, you know, um, shaky cam kind of born style and we're going into more stylized action. And while I enjoy stylized action, I was hoping that we would either get some of that John Wick stylized action in this movie or something that's more gritty and more, you know, feels more realistic, kind of like the train fight from Sky or from Spectre or something like that. But we didn't really get any of that in this movie, and it's this very basic gunplay that didn't really impress me that much. The villains in this movie are just non-existent. I mean, like, they pull, like, kind of a spoiler here, but they pull a cheap shot where they reveal, like, one of the characters turns into a villain or whatever, and it just felt kind of cheap and rushed, and, like, there's just really no... I didn't feel an imminent threat at all in the movie. Honestly, this movie feels like a stripped down version of Leon the Professional, which is actually a very good movie starring Natalie Portman. And if you're interested in any kind of movie like this, like you should check that out. Like this, that feels like a better version of this movie. But for the good things this movie, I did like the characters of Mary and Danny. That kid who played Danny did a good job for like, you know, a kid actor. He put on a good performance. Everybody gives a good performance in this movie. There's no performance that I think of that was bad. Everything was pretty good. The story had potential too. That's another good thing. Like I feel like if you know if I was like a producer or something in like Hollywood and I saw the script for this I'd probably say that like it needs a couple of rewrites but there's some potential here for a pretty good movie. But I think that maybe it was just like rushed or whatever. I don't know but like what we got just didn't have much to it it felt like. I feel like there could have been a little bit more substance to it. Overall guys, Proud Mary is just this basic action movie that's nothing really worth going out of your way or paying money to see. So that's why I'm going to give it a not to see unless you see it on Netflix or something like that. Pretty much guys, this is just a background noise movie or something that you watch when there's absolutely nothing else on. So guys, like I hope you like the new location I have set up here. I know I do. I'm sorry I've been away for so long. I think the last movie I reviewed was Guardians of the Galaxy, but um, I'm going to start reviewing movies again for this year. I'm probably going to cut back a little bit and focus on some other kind of videos and things like that. Um, also. I am going to review some of the movies that I missed last year, like the mainly the big ones that I really wanted to see. There were some like big franchise movies and there's also some like little independent movies or like you know smaller movies that I really wanted to see. So I will be, uh, when I have like a week where there's no movie out, new, mo new movie coming out that I want to see, like I'll review one of the movies that I missed last year, like I know Star Wars and things like that. So uh, We'll get to that, and I have some other videos coming up when I have time, but I'm in school and stuff like that now, so we'll see how it goes. Anyway, guys, that's it for me. As always, if you like what you see, go ahead and hit subscribe. You can follow me on Facebook and Twitter. The links are in the description below. Also, be sure to check out my website. The link is also in the description below. And remember, I waste my money so you don't have to. Thanks for watching.